how to spot market stagnation and stop yourself getting caught up in choppy markets. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me. All right, so how to spot market stagnation. Why do I want to spot market stagnation? Well, specifically, I guess this is kind of really works for swing traders and day traders, but you know if you're a day trader that you sit in the market, you trade away, and all of a sudden the market goes quiet, and often you try to force trade still, you maybe you're in a trade, and it just changes the dynamic completely. And end of the day, stagnating market is not good for anybody unless of course you're kind of some sort of volatility seller uh, and you're waiting for the volatility to crush but very few people are doing that we talk about directional plays opportunities long and short stagnation doesn't help us and generally we're quite late often to recognize stagnation because we know we're trying to still trade the same way we have been doing this probably quite lucrative and quite nice over that reasonable volatile period we've got a trade running already uh, it kind of changes the way that we read the market it's harder to read because there's no price flows no volume flow it becomes harder to spot those supply demand imbalances it becomes a challenging time and a challenging way to trade so let's have a look at some of the things that we could potentially see as clues that the market is stagnating and maybe if you've got a couple of these evident you can go right close positions and don't trade until these pick up so the first thing is what i call dirty candles so you've got these candles here uh, you've got maybe you know one up candle one down candle one up candle one down candle and you really just don't get any real movement or direction in one play in one in one place you know unlike these where you'd kind of probably have you know a good red candle here then you might have a little pause you might have another good red candle another good red candle they have to be massive but you've got some direction whereas when you've got this kind of dirty candle as i call it you've got no direction there's a little bit of buying a little bit of selling a little bit of buying a little bit of selling you know and if you get hardly any decent sized candles or any candles in the same direction you've got to think to yourself hey you know we could be stagnating now it's worth pointing out guys we do get periods where we get volatility stagnation and volatility picks up so we're not just looking at a little bit of stagnation after a big move we're looking at a continued stagnation throughout a period of time uh, the second thing is price is crossing the moving average very very frequently so whatever moving average obviously not too high because uh, too uh, too much of a, a slow moving average because that would be too slow to respond you know something like a you know maybe a 20 period if you're looking at a five minute chart or a 10 period or something like that or even a volume weighted average price if price is rotating around that many many times it's indicating the supply demand isn't really imbalanced. There's not much kind of movement going on. And also the, the kind of angle of the, of the moving average, if it's flatlining, you know, you you're telling you what's happening with price. You know, when we've got good moves like this, you can have moving averages that are gonna be really sloped up and down. Price is gonna be touching them occasionally, uh, not very often. And so when you get this kind of scenario, you think, right, well, we, you know, we are, we're not really doing much. There's not really much volume coming in. There's not really much going on. And of course, you can stick a Bollinger Band as well, something like that on it, and that will start to narrow as well. The standard deviation attribute of the Bollinger Band will start to narrow. And you can start to say, okay, you know, I need to wait at least for, so we have some price movement away from it, or I need to wait until we at least see, you know, perhaps the moving average starting to slope up to indicate some kind of demand or some kind of supply coming in if we're, if we're sloping down. Uh, so that's quite a good, quite a good sort of tool. The third thing, guys, of course, is volume. You know, if you're watching an instrument that you've got a volume on, uh, generally speaking, when we have kind of decent swinging moves, volume's gonna be higher. When we start to stagnate and do nothing, volume's gonna be lower. And that kind of makes sense, really, doesn't it? Because that's what's causing the moves, is price flow in or out of a, an asset, or money flow in and out of an asset, should I say. So, you know, when volume's starting to decline, and you can stick a moving average on volume with most charting packages out there, charting packages out there. And of course, when it's declining, you probably don't want to get involved. When it starts to lift back up again, then that might be an indicator to get back into uh, trading. And number four is we don't take out many swing lows or swing highs. So recent swing lows or swing highs are a good metric. Now, of course, if they're really extreme, that's understandable, it's not always gonna be the case. Um, but very often, you know, we will test 
prior highs, we'll test prior lows. And if you look at a kind of good, good, decent chart on the day, you know, very often we're taking out you know, an, an hourly swing low, and then we're going to a new high, or we're going to a new low, maybe we're going to a fresh low on the day. There's lots going on, there's lots of metric points that are, or lots of metrics that are indicating, okay, we're getting some imbalance, we're getting some uh, kind of conflict between buyers and sellers, we're not getting an agreement, which is what we want, you know, we want this kind of conflict of back and forth, back and forth. So that's another thing to look out for, the amount of times we're taking out previous swing highs, previous swing lows. So those are kind of four things that are reasonably good, I think, at gauging uh, when market's stagnating. And the point of this, again, is so that you don't get caught up trading in shop. You're not over trading stuff you shouldn't be. You're, if you're in a position, you're kind of maybe thinking of tightening up stops. You know, say if you're in for a long down here, for example, you might be thinking of at least tightening up the stop because it's starting to stagnate. Um, there's so many reasons why you want to trade this, but big one for kind of me is to not get involved in this. You know, if we start to change and we're going to stagnate your market, you know, whether you're taking a swing trade or whether you are taking a day trade, you know, stagnating market. And then the easy thing to kind of deal with that is once you've identified it with your dirty candles, your distance from moving averages, your slopes or whatever, is just to literally get on the charting platform, stick in a level, stick in a level, stick an alert on it, stick an alert on it and say, right, I'll only get involved if we start to breach this. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to trade, or I'll only start to watch this thing if we start to breach this level and that's great for swing trading because it brings it to your alert great for day trading because it means you're not wasting valuable focus resources watching this just thing chop up and down up and down without any opportunity it means you come back and you're only going to come back if before the end of the day it starts to spring back into life again all right guys those are how many do we have we had four things there four ways to spot market stagnation if you've got any extras you'd like to add any little tricks or tips that work for you then please stick them in the comment section below helps people who are watching the video or everyone goes into the comment section as a little look and so that might be something that really helps people who are stumbling across this video and thinking why well, we're getting caught up in chop all the time and while you're down there guys check out our market sponsor our channel sponsor and they're in link of the link to those guys in the description uh, below take care see you next one bye bye